All right, team. So if you remember the taco cart problem from yesterday, um, we're on the sand, and we're trying to figure out what angle would be the appropriate angle to attack the, the taco cart here. Um, and I think I got these numbers right. I think this was 200, and this was 300, but sorry if I got those wrong. Uh, it won't matter. So V sand was 1.5 meters per second, and V concrete was, uh, I think, 7 meters per second. So the question is, what angle do you take? And yesterday we sort of left off with, you can't just pick angles and do the math every time. Uh, that's called guess and check, and that was adorable back in algebra or whatever class, but in calculus now you have an infinite number of angles to choose from, and you can't do an infinite number of calculations. So we have to solve this analytically uh, with algebra. And we left off yesterday with the equation T of theta is going to be T sand plus T on the concrete. And now we want to turn these T's into functions of theta. So some more advanced math that involves theta, so that you can plug in a theta and get out of time and look for the lowest one. We're going to see this is actually reasonably a reasonably difficult thing to do. So let's attack TS first. Okay, so TS is going to be equal to the distance on the sand divided by your velocity on the sand. And so this is just D equals VT um, back from pre-calc. Um, just worked around. So if, if I can figure out what this is, this hypotenuse here, I can figure out, divide it by its speed and figure out how long I'm going to be on the sand. Now the tricky thing is this distance changes based on the theta. So this is where my theta is going to show up. Okay, theta is going to show up inside of that ds. Now the question is how? Okay, well, um, ds is the um, hypotenuse of uh, this triangle here. So let's come up with a trig identity or a trig function that involves theta ds and the number that never changes which is this 200. So what involves hypotenuse, adjacent, and theta? And the answer is cosine. So cosine of theta is going to be adjacent or 200 meters over ds. And I'll take a second and pause if you didn't follow that and, and think that through. This uh, is the cosine leg, so we can use cosine to relate all these two. Now we want ds, so we're going to solve for it, so we're going to flip these two about, and we're going to get that ds equals 200 divided by cosine theta. And what that gets us is that ts, now bringing this equation back up into here, that gets us that ts is 200 over cosine theta over the velocity on the sand, which we know is 1.5. So TS is in fact 200 over 1.5 cosine theta, like that. Now this is a really good situation to be in, although it looks kind of ugly. We now have achieved DS as a function of theta, um, or TS as a function of theta. So this is great. This is a, a perfect situation to be in. And of course, feel free to pause the video and and follow any of this um, math through that you want. Uh, let's just make sure the units are okay, right? So this was in meters, and this number right here is in meters per second. So those meters are gonna cancel, and you're gonna end up with one over one over seconds, which is just seconds. So this comes out to be in seconds, which is just adorable. Okay, moving on. Let's do the second part of the, the problem, which is what is the time on the concrete? Now that's a little bit more complicated, right? You have your your picture here to the taco cart. This is DS, but this here is DC. This is not. This is area of the concrete you never touched. So DC is a little bit um, confusing to get at. It's going to be the whole 300 minus this hashed bit. So DC is 300 minus this. So the real question is, what is that? Well, that has, again, is another leg of the triangle. And if this is theta, we're interested in now the sine leg of the triangle. But these both change depending on the angle. And so we're going to have to use this 200 again, because it's the only thing that stays the same no matter what happens in the, in the um, problem. So what relationship relates theta, this leg, and this leg? And the answer is tangent. So you can say, um, question mark here. So you can say tangent, right? So tan of theta is going to be this right here, which we'll just call opposite, right? OPP. 
is opposite over 200. And that's just Sokotoa, right? It's the definition of tangent. So then we can solve for here and say, okay, well, the opposite leg then is just 200 times the tan of theta, which equals OPP, or in our case, this question mark. So if we uh, keep going, we end up with um, that DC, the distance on the concrete, is 300 meters minus 200 tangent of theta. And notice that we've done something really cool here. We've gotten rid of all the variables and we solved this equation for theta. So now again, you plug in a theta and you get out a distance you want. So then time on the concrete, which is what you actually care about from here, time on the concrete is now in fact 300 minus 200 tan theta divided by your velocity on the concrete, which I believe is 7. Okay? So our final equation for T of theta is now, in fact, Ts, which was 200 divided by 1.5 sine theta, dot there, decimal there, plus this fancy stuff that we just came up with down here, 300 minus 200 tangent of theta, all divided by a 7, and that's meters per second. So here is the function. And this looks complicated, but it's actually better than what we were doing yesterday, because all I have to do is stick a theta in for here and here, and I get out the exact time that it takes uh, to get to the taco cart, depending on what angle I pick. Now your job is plug us into Grapher and find the angle that makes sense. Okay? Um, and then your problem is to adjust this equation if the taco cart is moving, which that's going to, as a hint, affect DC, right? That's, DC is now going to depend on the, the time and the problem. So that's a little bit more of a difficult problem. Okay, enjoy, guys. Please make, go through this. Make sure you understand how we did this. This is the, the core of doing real math, is being able to write things like this instead of guessing and checking an infinite number of times like we were doing yesterday. All right, miss you guys a lot. Um, so my wife is on duty with the kiddo tomorrow, so I will most definitely be there. Um, have a great day.